Okay, so as I was saying, uh, Joe was thinking for someone uh, who could speak about uh, what happens in soil and frozen soil. So uh, I just would like to hand that I grew it because I've been working from time to time on that topic. I've been working for the last 15 years, say, and so far the, the main conclusion that we got to uh, is that available life that's present in soil at the harvest is actually transformed in soil throughout the winter period, whatever the soil conditions are. And so there is, in most soils, there is significant nitrogen uh, buildup during winter, which of course leads to higher uh, loss to leaching and nitrification from the soil. And so far, we, we've, been, uh, we've repeated you know, several trials in the field of the manure and ended up with the fall of light nitrogen uh, that was lost, significant amounts of loss for the winter, up to 29% of the light in the fall uh, couldn't be recovered in the, in the next spring. So of course, the, this may have a major environmental impact. And but what's, what's applied in the fall of land is a little better for the problem in the next year. No, uh, it, it's been known for decades that soil nitrogen processes are still occurring in soil land, in agricultural soils when they're below really zero degrees Celsius. Nitrification and nitrification may be found at significant rates for those people who have tried to measure natural measures over a year, uh, they, they have ended up with values uh, of just 75% of total annual losses that would actually uh, arrive during the winter period. And leaching is also uh, known in the happening in the winter period. So over winter losses of vegetable and fall line uh, uh, have been found. Right. Uh, Joe uh, informed me about the Castle website where there's a mine of plants. So uh, I went into the, uh, the site and found you no know, information uh, about nitrification. There's a statement uh, that found that nitrification occurs very slowly at cold temperature and ceases. When it, when it gets below the freezing point. So the first part of the statement is, of course, true. But the second part of it may not be true for all the soils. Maybe it's true for soils that uh, don't experience normal period, free frost periods year after year, but in, in seasonally frozen soils. I guess this is the last investigation of soil blocks that have time to that to those who know where it is their conditions. So when we first uh, got interested in uh, looking at what's happening in old soils, we had that experiment where we wanted to demonstrate that if we apply it in a very late in the fall, if we have, you know, we're taking that nitrogen, that nitrogen next spring. We were surprised. Uh, we, we, we had in that experiment uh, two different soil end sources. Pig manure, which contained a significant amount of ammonia applied into the soil, and also alfalfa residues, which contained essentially a head, so no ammonia. So we monitored soil water concentration and some nitrate following the application. And when we applied it over here, the soil was already at about 200 and stayed around that temperature throughout the, the, uh, the incubation. So what we did see is that the manure derived ammonia was gradually uh, disappearing and concretely there was a gradual increase in nitrate. So there was uh, you know, the demonstration that nitrification was occurring in the lower soils. And even with the alfalfa regimen, there was some sort of nitrate buildup over time, so the mineralization was also occurring at the same time. So the next question was then, if nitrification occurs and significant nitrification occurs that for grounds and degrees Celsius, is there a hand for nitrification on the soils? So the next experiment was uh, we were comparing two different types of clay in the same soil. 
And both sides were incubated at Thompson Hampshire uh, for three months. And I did it the Hampshire Range card plus 10 and down to minus six. But what you can see for both soil types is that for all temperatures above zero degrees Celsius, here, there was a significant elevation of binary soils in both soils. Below the freezing point, here at minus two, there was also a significant increase in nitrate in the soil. And even though it was lower in descent, the soil was still significant. At minus six, we could hardly find any uh, increase in the soil nitrate. That, that was for all the soil uh, nitrate. However, when we uh, added the new work, it was able to track that nitrate. The soil, we, we, we got similar results for all soils for all temperatures and blocks of the Celsius. We can see also that at minus two, there was a significant amount of nitrate appearing, nitrate derived uh, from, from the manure. Minus two in the same room as well. But even at minus six, in the place of soil, you see that there was some transformation, some nitrification of manure and nitrogen. So, that nitrification actually occurs in the frozen soil. We explain why we are year after year finding that there is a substantial amount of residual in the soil at harvest that disappears during the winter. This experiment is with the same two soils as in the previous slides, so clay and sandy soil, where we uh, those were field experiments where we applied nitrogen 15 and they will take the water, side rest of the water, and at harvest we were looking at the soil residual tank. So the, the red portion of each column is proposed upon recovery of the soil wet system, so assumed to be a marginal loss. The black portion is soil residual tank and includes crop residues at harvest as well. And the green portion is more of the export of the grain. So, what you can see is that at harvest in both soils, we uh, could still find a significant amount of nitrogen 15 in the soil. Uh, the thing, the important thing is that more than 95% of that soil was present either as organic or clay based on So, very little nitrogen. So we went back to the, all the same plots the next spring, just before planting, and again at harvest the year after application, just to see what was happening to soil. That's an average uh, graph. You know, we did that experiment four times. You know, for an annual average, we were always. Uh, Measuring 30 to 50% loss during the winter, the first winter, so from here to here, of soil residual land. So that's a second loss. Uh, remember, even though uh, that nitrogen was not necessarily in the way we developed in soil. And of course, uh, when we think about all of uh, those parents were dead. We're conducted in an area where we get lots of snow on the ground. So the snow is kind of uh, isolated against the leaf frost snow. And the the the, the present time is changing all are indicating that that amount of snow may be reducing in the future. So that in the end, with a longer time, we could say they have cold soil and they make it to the soil against cold And many people think that that activity that soil activity is maybe also so the next experiment uh, that we did was to review the same exact experiment at four <laughs> across Canada with very different winter conditions. So uh, different snow levels. And, and so we have true soil freezing patterns. So the idea was to determine the extent of winter nitrogen, loss, uh, nitrogen losses in the winter from manure 
uh, we do fertilizer as well, and as I said, we'll the rest of the sites. So again, that was an experiment with uh, nitrogen fixing and pressing techniques to be able to uh, trace exactly the fate of a client and so we have to give you more, we have to give you more and more solving as well. And uh, so the same end sources were applied at all sites. Uh, so those were all of the same elements. Uh, the, the, the end sources were applied on the first week of November and went from time to time from November to the next, to, to late, sampling the soil. And looking at where the nitrogen was uh, in the car. So those are a few pictures of uh, fall applications. So nitrogen 15 labeling, fall application. And during winter, so assembly. So this is the uh, soil temperature patterns at the four sites. So as I said, contrasting, uh, contrasted with the conditions. So uh, at Quebec site, it's a very thick snow cover, so we can see that the soil temperature uh, does decrease during winter, but is kind of stable, not very because it's made by the deep snow pack. The warmer side here in Ottawa actually shows more fluctuations in soil temperature because there is a shallow snow cover, so that's something that can the cycle. A little bit in Alberta was a cold site in that experiment. There was no humorous freezing cycles and heat uh, loss. Then Agassiz in British Columbia, which has a uh, climate similar here, actually with a freezing periods that we mentioned earlier. So, so normally that's what we have seen before, we're going to put a slide together on the religion magazines. So that's at the time of application. You can see the three different end sources at each site. And what is the main conclusion is that whatever site where we uh, apply the end sources, there was a threat of the mine crop, which would be so that at the end of the winter, there were just that. that when it was time to plant you know, at the different sites, we had already lost about 40 to about 90% of the water supply in November. So, of course, uh, this reduced the value of that foundation. Um, that was the one year the answer was a mineral or a mineral source. The losses were found everywhere at all sites. And similar results, when we did that experiment in the world, and we obtained quite similar results in all the years. So, in conclusion, uh, the presentation, a significant portion of all of my, well, I, I'm indicating the, indicating the volume because that's the portion of the new work that's related to action 15, so we can come up with all the volume portion of the organic production. This was during winter. Uh, we know that. Well, part, at least partly because nitrification uh, does occur throughout the winter period at temperature below the freezing point. Uh, of course, it significantly lowers the, the efficiency of all the nitrogen. Well, even if it's a mineral or an organic source. And it was found even in the areas of the air leading to many uh, think that there might be a little bit of that in the There is a moment in climate change, significant change in the diversification of the water in Europe. We may not see that much of a difference in terms of what happens to fall by action. It may still be transformed to mobile forms that have been lost. Say it was small enough or uh, early springtime so that significant portion of all the nitrogen isn't there at the time of planting the next crop. So, uh, I'm going to do another presentation. Any questions? Just a question on that notification. There was an alternative slide broadcast. So the question is whether the new world's surface fly or 
All fertilizers? Yeah. 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 Well, the, the, in all the experiment, there wasn't anything incorporated just to prevent uh, ammonia fertilization. Uh, we wanted to reduce everything as much as possible the ammonia because that, that was a portion of the ammonia. Your study, uh, did you cover the soil or just the fish? If the soil was covered? Yeah. Well, no, uh, in, in those experiments, uh, they were uh, on, on bare soils all the time. Okay, so we, we didn't try to, uh, to look at, uh, say, pasture soil, but it was always corn or small cereals that were cropped, so all applications were made on bare soils. Okay, no, that's different. Say, for instance, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, any significant difference in time? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, but then there's also the question of the uh, presence of a lot of our horizons of the operation. So if you know that, if there's a lot of the operation, so there might be a portion of that, and I'm not sure that we can all rights and that we can make the soil. Can you comment on the nitrous oxide emissions component of this? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So that's the same thing for the nitrification and nitrification. I'm going to talk more about that on Thursday. I have fertilization specific to that. But yes, nitrification and nitrification also are predominant to the career. There's quite a bit of work looking at system to do with nitrogen ammonia followers and spraying in terms of nitrogen spots. And I guess you're showing consistently, you're showing that 90% was. This is a lot of that research, you know, it's variable some years to see how it some years to go. I guess I was wondering if there's something about this system that it makes it for you to explain why this system is so consistent with what was where these economic were looking at nitrogen response to fall and support the corn and the price of the whole area. You understand what I'm saying? So you can study it very quickly. Corn spots that fall in high school. And we're seeing very well. I'm just saying, in the Midwest, there's a lot of work showing fall versus spring application of yeah. high risk and it's variable. You're showing very consistent loss. And I'm just wondering if you can talk a little bit of why there's any inconsistency between those or what this system here versus. Yeah, well, that, that, that's a good question. I don't really have a very certain answer about that because uh, well, what we see from some specific activities such as nitrification, yes, it can be very variable from year to year. So, uh, as we you know, we did all the side experiments, we tried to do the world making, we heard in related to say good years for uh, nitrogen transformation and losses. So uh, if we had that uh, for, for a few more years, we, we may have ended up with some of the years with losses. That could be good. It could also uh, be a link to the point of the story. We uh, actually see that early winter conditions have a major impact on what goes on throughout the winter up to next spring. If early conditions are, you know, uh, mild and there is a good snow that you love in the winter, early in the winter, the soil doesn't freeze as much as uh, it was so smooth on the winter and later. And this may well change the degree at which nitrogen is going So the older the soil, of course, the, the smaller grades will increase. So it grades the uh, Modification are 